You know, as the story goes of creation, even God rested on the seventh day, right? All this beautiful, wonderful creation happened. The the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the animals, man, you know, plants, mankind, you know, man and woman were both were created um, all in six days. And on the seventh day, what happened? God saw it was good and did what? And rested. And so why don't we take rest, right? Why don't we take self-care? If God even rested, why don't we? That's what we're going to talk about today on day seven of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days. Now, we've gone through the introduction of visualization, of limiting beliefs, of the, the simulation of, of, of the mere effect and radical change and identity shifting. And we've done a whole lot of work in this very first week. And so today I want to talk about another very important process peace, excuse me, of the manifestation process. And that is self-care. That is rest. That is recharging. Now, for some of us, that feels like the exact opposite of everything that we should be doing. It feels like, oh my gosh, if I, especially if you're an entrepreneur, like I want you to like just raise your hand or leave a comment down below. Um, as to if you're an entrepreneur or this, you've got a side hustle and you've got a day job, like do you feel the need every day, even on the weekends, even on your days off from your day job, or if you're an entrepreneur full-time, like every day, to feel the need to do something in your business daily, right? So there's a difference between consistency and, and overworking yourself. Consistency means we are going to be just that consistent. We are going to um, work on something, do something, like produce something on a regular basis to remain consistent. And we usually use that in the terms of content and, and effort or study, or things like that, right? So there are some things you want to do consistently. You want to meditate consistently every day. Um, you want to exercise, uh, do something, even if it's yoga, stretching, some sort of physical movement every day. You know, you want to um, practice gratitude daily, all those great things, right? but you don't have to work every day. And I'm going to propose something to you that if you don't take the time to recharge, if you don't take the time to take care of yourself, if you don't take the time to do things that are fun and just like playful and just allow yourself to, to just explore just life and enjoy life, then what did you create this whole business for? I know when you're working a side hustle, right? When 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 your 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 purpose is still your side hustle, man, I'm gonna tell you, I did work. I worked a lot. I worked a full 40 hour day work week, and then I sometimes would work a full 40 of my side hustle. I still, and this was a few years ago, I still don't know where I found all the time and the energy to do that. I have no clue. But you know what happened three years ago? I walked away from corporate America. I started doing my business full time, right? Um, it became I became a full time entrepreneur. I found myself still working probably sixty hours, seventy hour weeks initially. But you know what happened? I got burned out. <laughs> I got burned out. I got burned out. You cannot sustain it. And you know what happens when you get burned out? You can't think clearly. You can't feel clearly. And energy does not flow. Creativity does not happen in, when you're in this space of exhaustion. Like the initiation of that creation, the ideas, the, the, the like, oh, wow, this is really cool. I could do this this way. The discovery. If you don't take time enough to do your own, like, like, like do your own self-development, personal development and learn new skills or learn new things or read a new book or whatever that you're looking to learn or that interests you. If you don't take time to feed your interests, you cannot to then have the ability to then to interject these new ideas into your business or into your life. And I'm using business as an example, but you can apply this in any area of your life. For instance, if you want a successful fulfilling relationship, yes, we're going to manifest it. And yes, we're going to visualize it. And yes, we're going to do like all the work and stuff over these next 88 days on ourselves. But also I'm going to encourage you to actually do some self-reflection, some self-development, some personal development. I'm going to ask you to, to read books or to listen to podcasts or to watch YouTube videos or other content, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, 
from relationship experts, from, from relationship coaches, from like, start getting other people's input. Not that you're going to like take everybody's advice and just go with it. But if you don't explore and expand your, the ideas or the energies or the concepts, right. That, that can help expand your world then your world is going to start to contract, continue to contract, and it's going to close in on you in that area of your life or all areas. We need to challenge ourselves, okay? Sometimes that challenge is in the form of play. Sometimes that challenge is simply saying, you know what, I am not going to focus on this today. I'm going to focus on having fun. I'm going to focus on maybe I want to go to a movie or I want to go for a walk or I want to go to the amusement park or I want to go to a different restaurant that I've never been to, right? I want to go explore some things I've never seen before. I want to connect with some friends that I haven't talked to in months or years even. Or you know what? Sometimes it's just good to say, I just want to relax today. I don't need to do anything. I can just be, I can be a human being and not a human doing all the time. Self-care is so important when we're manifesting because like I said, even God rested, <laughs> even God rested, even God rested. So why can't you, and you know what happens when I say, you know what, I'm just going to not, we're just, we're just, I'm just going to just enjoy things. We're just going to have a great time. I come back the next day after a full day of rest or a full weekend of rest. I come back empowered. I come back motivated. I come back full of energy. I come back recharged. I come back to the regular week ready to go. I get some of my best ideas when I'm kind of not doing anything. I, I, I make the best discoveries. When most of what I'm doing that day is relaxing, having fun, meeting new people, going outside, <laughs> whatever. I could be doing the most random thing and all of a sudden this epiphany happens. Or all of a sudden I meet somebody that's just a gem and I absolutely love having them in my life. You know what I mean? So day seven is self-care. I want you to give me a comment below. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And, and guys, that really helps the algorithms so that this video gets pushed out to more people so more people can see and experience these 88 days and, and we can grow our community, okay? So it really does help the algorithms when you comment, when you hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to give me a follow, please think about doing that. That'd be great. I would love that. Right. So, but what I want you to do is comment below. What things do you like to do for fun? Do you like to go to the movies? Do you like to go for walks? What things do you, what do you do when you really want to take care of yourself? Like I took myself out um, for dinner last night. I didn't go with anybody else. It was just me, myself and I, and I had the best time ever. Didn't feel weird being in the restaurant. It was great. I enjoyed it. So what else do you do? I take myself out to the movies. I go for walks. Like I'm about to go for a walk right now. You know, like go, what, what do you do? And sometimes like two weekends ago, guess what I did? I laid in bed till two o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. I never do that, but I did it. It was great. And I was so recharged. So what do you do to recharge your batteries? And if you don't do anything to recharge your batteries, I want you to comment below. I will rest. Okay. Comment that down below. I will rest. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. That's all we need for today. Take yourself a day of rest. Okay. At least once a week, take yourself a full day of rest and never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. I'll see you soon. Bye.